Hi everybody, welcome to Thursday Night Demo at Now You're Cooking. We are making kofta tonight, which is a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern meatball. It's got some really good spices and a little bit of onion and pepper and stuff in there, so it's going to be really good. It's from this book right here called Jerusalem by Yotam Otolenghi and Sami Tamimi. Sadly, we are currently out of stock of this book. We didn't plan very well, but we do have several other books by Otolenghi, some of my favorite cookbooks to um, cook from. Just really great flavor combinations, um, really great ideas. It's, um, some books like Plenty More is vegetarian. Um, really great recipes in there. I highly recommend them. And the pictures are great too. If you like cookbooks and pictures, which I do. Um, before we get started on this, next week we're going to be making another cookbook recipe from Sam Sifton's book, See You on Sunday. Sam Sifton is the New York Times food editor, if you didn't know that. Um, and that's a really good, really robust beef stew, um, and it is fabulous. It has port, uh, no, stout in it, um, which adds a lot of flavor, which is great. Um, then the week after that is Thanksgiving. So I just want to let everybody know that we have lots of roasting pans and roasting racks if you need those. We've got gravy separators. We've got a great deal on Emile Henri pie dishes really good sale on those um, if you need any pie dishes or anything like that. Um, there's also, if you go back on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, um, way back towards the beginning, we did a quiche demo. And if you need a, um, a pick me up on how to make a really good pie crust, um, I, I walk through that. Don't do the quiche part, do fruit or something like that but it's a really good really pretty straightforward pie crust recipe um, is really flaky and delicious and it's all butter so it's really good um, and last but not least look what's coming in the mail this week if you haven't already got it some of you may have received this today um, this is our new catalog it's got the usual coupons on the back so make sure you don't throw this away um, Lots of fun new stuff in here. Lots of good pictures of the staff and the crew here at the store. Um, and some great ideas for gifting or for your own kitchen if you are in the market for anything. So take a look at that um, and hold on to it. Like I said, don't lose those coupons because they're really awesome. So we're going to get started here. Um, kofta, my understanding, is that kofta means ground. Um, I'm not sure what Bassinia means. I couldn't find that online, but I'm assuming it has something to do with ground meat. Um, you want to use a nice fatty meat. I sort of get um, lower fat meat here, leaner meat, but it's going to still taste good. But the fatter it is, the more flavor you're going to have. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I have lamb and I have beef. You can do this with all lamb. You can do it with all beef. You can do it with beef and pork throw some turkey in there, whatever kind of ground meat you like to eat. Um, it'll still taste great with the seasonings that we're going to put in here. So I'm just going to mix up the meats there a little bit before I start adding some other things. I have gloves on, so it's a little less messy. I have a small onion, minced pretty small. I have a, oops, I have a chili pepper. I don't know what this is. I think it's kind of mild. It's not super spicy. You could use a jalapeno if you wanted to, but um, this is a, it's like an Anaheim or something. So it's not super, super spicy, but it'll give it a little extra flavor. I've got parsley, fresh chopped parsley. I have pine nuts. Um, the recipe calls for seven tablespoons. Seven tablespoons is just under a half a cup. Um, if that's easier to measure than spooning out all the tablespoons. Um, garlic, two big cloves of garlic here, minced. And last but not least, my spice blend. This is freshly ground nutmeg, freshly ground pepper, salt, uh, cinnamon, and allspice. And that's all going to go in there as well. And then we're just going to mix this up with our hands. You can do this in a stand mixer if you want to, um, but just putting on the gloves is really pretty good way and you can really get in there and mix it well with your hands. Really knead the stuff in there. You want it really well mixed. It 
in. As you can see, there's a lot of good flavor in there. Like you cannot take a bite of this without getting some of that spice and herbs and the pepper and the onion. These are really good. I made these um, over the summer <coughs> and they were just fabulous. We're gonna make a little tahini sauce to go with it. And they are just really wonderful. You could, these we're gonna fry. You could put them on the grill um, or you could put them on a skewer probably and do them like, um, what's it called? Kebabs, thank you. Sorry, having a moment. Okay, I think those are pretty well, pretty well mixed. Now, the recipe says to put it in the fridge for a little while. I'm not going to do that because we're just going to go ahead and start frying these. Um, it's better if you do cook them the same day that you make the mix, um, but you can always put them in the fridge once they're cooked and just reheat them in the oven um, if you need to do that. So you can make it ahead. And it calls for about two ounces. This is a one and a half tablespoon scoop, so I'm just going to round it up a little bit. And we're just going to form it into kind of a little football shape, like so. And I have my oil heating over here. Just turn it up just a little bit. So little football shapes. I don't know why. It's probably the, just the traditional shape, but you could make them flat patties. You could make them just round meatballs like traditional American meatballs. It's kind of fun to do something a little different, even though they still taste the same. <clears throat> and again, you can see all the stuff in here, all that great flavor that's going to come out. And with the tahini, it's just a nice creamy sauce and really goes well and accents all the flavors in here really, really nicely. Okay, and let's see how our oil's doing over here. Just drop a little piece in there and see what happens. Starting to sizzle. Maybe let it, what's up? Um, this is canola oil. So you wanna use a high heat oil. Um, canola, peanut oil is great. Avocado oil is really good. It's just expensive for just frying in, but, um, but it's a great high heat oil. And like I said, if you don't like lamb, you can do all beef. Um, I did them this summer with beef and pork. Pork is not strictly um, probably eaten a lot in the Middle East, I think. But um, I don't think anybody will arrest you or anything if you want to make it with pork or turkey or ground chicken. And so we're just going to brown these on all four sides. Make a couple more to go in there. And I just have this on a medium low heat right at the moment. And they're starting to smell good. You can definitely hear that sizzle. What's that? How many does this make? I don't know how many this makes off the top of my head, but we'll let you know <laughs> when we're done with the recipe. Um, and I'm just going to take my gloves off now. We will let you know. I'll, it's going to go in the oven for just a minute, too, so um, we probably won't do the finished product on the demo, but we'll post a picture of the finished product. And at that point, I will let you know how many it makes. So that's got a nice brown. You can see that's got a nice brown on that side. So just gently because they stick a little bit at first. Just gently turn them. And you can kind of lean them on each other if you need to. Um, the nice thing is if these are going to probably be about medium rare when I'm done frying them. You can put them into the oven for a little while to get them well done, if you prefer well done. You definitely want to get them browned, though, a little bit. 
while that's happening, and hopefully I won't forget to go turn those again, I am going to mix up my tahini sauce. And this consists of two thirds of a cup of tahini, which I am not very accurately measuring. A half a cup of water. And then we need about three tablespoons of lemon. I'm just gonna give these guys another little turn. Oh, that smells so good. I love the smell of fresh lemon. It smells like springtime. So, and you couldn't see this when I was making these, but I, I was pressing them together pretty well. You don't want them to fall apart in the oil. You want them to hold their shape. Um, so just, oops. So just gently press them as you're making their oblong shake, shape. Oops. And... Fresh lemon juice is always better than the stuff you get in the jar. However, in a pinch, feel free to use it. It's not the end of the world. But we definitely like fresh. And I need three tablespoons. How close am I going to be here? One. A few seeds. Two. Very close with a few seeds. So just saw another seed. Somebody's getting the seed. All right, let me give these one more turn here onto side number four. They are round, so they don't technically have four sides, but you get the idea. And they're browning up beautifully. onions are falling out but that's okay just flavor the oil nicely and now I'm just gonna whisk this so um, oh and the garlic gotta have the garlic my favorite garlic twist put my garlic uh, clove in there and then I just turn this a few times and I get beautifully minced garlic and we have these in a couple of different colors, the green, purple, and clear. Um, and I think it's the best garlic grinder out there because you can um, grind it just a little bit just to get the oils and stuff out, or you can pretty much pulverize it and liquidize it. Okay, and you want this kind of thin. You don't want it super thick. That's about the right consistency. If it is really thick, can add a little bit more water if it's super super thin you could add a little bit more tahini um, but you don't want too much and we're gonna let that sit there for a sec and let our flavors infuse and then I'm gonna put these in the dish right over here oh. If you could just smell the spices in this, it is amazing. <clears throat> this is just such a warm and delicious entree. You could pack these up for a snack if you're going hiking. Just wrap them in some foil or put them in a stasher. Even better. And these are not, I can tell these are not fully cooked. They're still on the rare side. So I might put these back into the oven for um, just a couple of minutes just to warm them, to cook them through a little bit further. And then what we're going to do is pour the sauce in here, just around the edges. You don't want to cover them up too much. And that goes also back into the oven. So that's going to heat up the tahini sauce, um, which is such a good, it's just such a nice complement to the spices in here. Um, so this is going to go in the oven for a few minutes just to cook them a little further. I'm going to do the rest of those and then we'll put the tahini sauce in there and we'll take a picture of that and we'll show you what that's going to look like when it's all done. But it's that straightforward. Um, 
great weeknight dinner. Um, serve it with a nice salad, maybe some couscous or something like that, or rice, and um, you got dinner to go. Um, I think that's it. So again, keep an eye out for your catalog. It should be in the mail. If you are not on our mailing list, um, you can find it on our website. There'll be a link on our website um, for the digital version. Um, and I think that's it. So have a great night. Don't forget next week is uh, Beef Stew, Sam Sifton. Week after that is Thanksgiving. Come get all your Thanksgiving supplies here if you need anything. We're here to help. Thank you so much.